Hey you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to show you how I use my silhouette to make planner stickers for my Erin Condren Life Planner. A lot of you guys have requested for me to do this video, so I'm more than happy to do it for you guys. I'm going to show you my favorite website um, where I download my free printables from and then how I use them in Silhouette Studio. Now I will say you do not need a Silhouette Cameo or a Silhouette Portrait which those are the cutting machines um, to get free printables. You could always just print out the printables and then cut them by hand. But even if you don't have the cutting machines, I highly suggest downloading the Silhouette Studio software because it is seriously a lifesaver with free printables and I feel it makes it a lot easier and you can customize your stickers. I'll leave the exact link to downloading the software in the description box, so just open it up down below so you can download it. But you'll wanna download here where it says Silhouette Studio Basic Edition. It is free and they have it either for obviously Mac or Windows. So once you download your Silhouette Studio software and you open it up for the first time, it is going to look like this. Um, and then this white box here is just the eight and a half by 11. So like what the size of a normal white sheet of paper looks like. Um, I'm not gonna go into too many details on like the buttons and things like that and on what some of the icons mean, unless you want me to do a separate video for that. But honestly, if you like hover over, it tells you what it is, like draw a rectangle. I will show you right here is pretty much what you're gonna wanna do if you have a cutting machine. If you do not have a cutting machine, then you can totally skip this part. But you're going to want to open the registration mark window so you'll just click right there and then I always just use type 1 which is the cameo portrait or curio so it's set up to whatever if you have the cameo or the portrait and it basically puts this box around here so when if you do have a cutting machine you don't ever want to put stickers inside this like gridded area here because it's never going to cut in those areas so I just always once I open up my studio I go ahead and I you know I put that in there and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's your registration marks. It lets your cutting machine know where you're going to cut your stickers. So once we have all of that pretty much open and basic, we need to download our free stickers, right? So this is my favorite website where I actually get my free printables. It is called plannerproblem101.com. I will obviously have this linked in the description box below for you guys because I seriously love this website. They have free kits, as you see here, like free weekly kits. Um, they also have like wacky holidays. This is for December. She also has like these little doodle faces. She has icons. I mean, there is so much on here, honestly, you guys. So definitely just check it out, scroll through. You can also go to the top and like up here, you know, kind of pick things by glitter, by months, you know, whatever you want. If you just want, you know, for instance, checklist, click on that and it'll bring you to all of the checklists. So definitely go to the website, look around and then see what you want. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I use a weekly kit. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the spa night one. So we're gonna click continue reading. She makes layouts for the Erin Condren as well as the Happy Planner. So if you have the Happy Planner, not the Erin Condren, you can still use her, her printables, which is really cool. So we're gonna scroll down and you'll see here, she does have the PDF option and the Studio 3 option. So if you downloaded the Silhouette Studio, the free software, then you'll wanna download the Studio version. Now you can definitely download the PDF and just print it out and cut by hand. But me personally, I don't want every single thing on this page here that you see. I like to actually cut and then move it over into a new window and paste what I want. So I kind of like to pick what I want and then I delete what I don't and kind of like customize a little bit if that makes any sense, but I'll show you guys. So okay. We obviously want this page here, right? I want all of those full boxes. I do want some of these half boxes. So I'm gonna do here, I want the Erin Condren vertical. So I'm going to download. Once you click on download, it's going to bring you to Dropbox and I don't have a Dropbox account. So I'm just gonna click download. It's gonna tell me, do I wanna create an account? I always say, no thanks, continue to download. And then it just downloads over yonder here. And then I wanna go back because um, I obviously wanna download more stuff. So these are obviously the date headers here. These are the little thing headers and like little appointment boxes and icons. I usually don't download this page unless I really want the date covers. Um, these are the little things which I never download because I am not a no white space planner. Um, this is like the washi page and like um, this right here is kind of like the thankful thought box. Um, 
I actually don't even use any of this stuff here on this page. I like my I like my checklist that I've made for myself. I like that more. Um, but I do love the sampler page because I love the glitter headers and I love the balloons. Like if there's like a birthday or whatever. And I like these bigger icons. So I'm gonna go ahead and download the sampler and the silhouette version. Obviously, you can download whatever you want. I feel like you need to use the kit a couple of times from this website to see what you really like and what you don't like and what you wanna use. Obviously, I need more than just those two pages to make a full kit for myself, but since I'm just showing you guys as an example, I'm not gonna download every single thing. So now that we have the pages that we want downloaded, I'm gonna come back into Silhouette and then I'm going to open up those files. So I need to open, and my computer is really slow, guys. Then I want the spa night, so I'm gonna Open the one up. There it goes. Then I'm gonna go back in and open up the second page. So you'll see here that you have two new windows and then the first one is the window that we started with. So going back to the first page here, you wanna go ahead and highlight everything. So with your mouse, just point and then drag all the way down till everything is highlighted. Then you're gonna come over here to the modify window, click on that and then click crop. And as you can see, the text at the top is gone and then some of the like red lines are gone as well. Then just click on the outside. And then I definitely want the full boxes here. There's eight. And then I also want the half boxes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to point and drag to select everything that I want. I'm going to cut to remove what I want. Then you're going to come back into um, that first page here and you're going to paste your cut items. And I'm going to quickly zoom in just so you guys can get a better view. There is this red line here. You do not want to put stickers outside of that red line because it will not cut properly. Um, and I don't know if it'll print properly because I've never done it. So just don't do it just to be safe. You want everything within the red lines and also within the registration marks. So I'm going to, but I do like to line it up as closely as I can. And I've never had any issues with that. So now that I have everything kind of in place where I want it, I want to go over to my cut area, my cut settings. And then once you have that, it's going to bring it up and you can do cut edge. You can, you can select, select pretty much whatever you want. I like to actually just hit the cut. Now the cut option doesn't work on everything, but for this basic, what I'm showing you, it will work. And this literally will just cut out only the highlighted items. And as you can see, there's now red lines around every individual box and every individual half box. So that's what I wanted. And then once I have everything done, I just click out and then it unselects everything. Now what I always do is I move the boxes closer together because I like to maximize as much of this space as possible. I wanna get as many stickers as I possibly can onto one single page. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's just what I do. So now that I have these items here, I won't use anything else off of this page. So I usually just click out of it. Don't save, I don't need it. And then I'm here from the spa kit, I want these glitter headers. So I'm going to highlight everything like I did with that first page. I'm gonna go over here to my modify window, crop, and it cuts everything out. I'm gonna go ahead and select these glitter headers because I love glitter headers. I'm gonna cut. Come back into here and paste. I also wanna go back into my cut settings and hit just the cut and then you can see the red lines. If you do not have a cutting machine, you can skip this cut step. You don't need to go into the cutting settings and click cut, you don't need that. If you do have the cutting machine, then you will wanna do this. Otherwise, it's not gonna cut out. You're gonna put it through your silhouette and nothing's gonna cut out. A good way to know if you have your cut settings on is, as you can see, if I'll, here, I'll click no cut. You don't see any red lines, right? Once I hit cut, you see the red lines. That's how you know you have it set up to cut. So, obviously this is too long, so I'm gonna wanna try to fit in as many of the glitter headers as I possibly can. This is also why I like to um, move everything as closely together as possible. So yeah, I'm just gonna move these here. I'll zoom out so you guys can see. Um, so I have all the glitter headers and then I think they give you eight glitter headers, which I don't need eight glitter headers of each. I usually just use seven of three color and then I just use three of another. But obviously plan how you wanna plan. I wanna grab these birthday balloons. I think they're really cute, so I'll cut those. And I'm actually gonna show you how to do an offset cut. So with the balloons, I'm gonna go ahead and paste them. So I'm gonna put my balloons right here and let's zoom in so you guys can see what an offset is. Now, I don't like for 
just the normal cut option for balloons, for example, and some icons, because it literally will try to cut out every single little area here. And sometimes it's a pain in the butt and it doesn't cut properly. With boxes and like headers, because it's just pretty much a rectangle or a square, it's pretty easy for the machine to do. For this, I like to offset it. And now offsetting, basically what it does is it puts a little shadow around the image and then the machine will cut that shadow. I hope this makes sense, but let me just show you. And then that way also, if say it's like offset a little bit on the cutting machine, it's not going to cut into the sticker. It'll still cut the white part around the sticker. And what I mean by offsetting as well is when it cuts like a little shadow. So whenever you cut this out, if you're using a cutting machine, it won't just be the purple balloons. You'll have a little bit of white background. I hope that makes sense. So over here is the offset button. So I want to click the offset. And then I want to offset, not internal offset, just offset. Then you will see here kind of like this red line. So that's like the shadow that I'm telling you guys about. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you guys can see better. So as you can see here, once you click the offset, there is like that red line, which is kind of like the shadow. It's like the best way to explain it. Um, and so what that means is all of this, it's going to cut this red outline portion here if you use your cutting machine to cut. So all of this will be white in the background and then you'll have the purple balloon. Um, so over here, you can obviously change like how big you want the offset to be. Obviously, we don't want it that big because you don't want a sticker this big. You know what I mean? We want it smaller. And I don't even use this little like sliding arrow at all. I like to come over here and I like my offset to be as small as, you know, pretty small. I don't like it to be pretty big. And I always do mine as 0 0.025. Then I apply it. So it still cuts, you know, around like the string here and then inside, but it's not super skinny. So once I do that, I like pretty much all my offsets to be 0 0.025. I just go and select both items. I right click and I hit group. So that way it becomes one solid image. Then I want to go over to my cutting settings and I want to do cut edge. So I want it to only cut this edge because if you click on cut, it's going to cut both images and I want it to cut the edge only of the outlined portion. And then also I want to point out this red line will not print on your sticker paper, so don't worry. I always thought it was going to print. It does not print. It's like an invisible line once it prints out on your paper. The red line is just there for you to see the offset and also so you know like your cut settings. So let me just zoom out. So this is pretty much everything here that I have selected. Obviously you can add more, but this is basically um, my basic tutorial. So I hope it does help you guys on how to use the silhouette. I swear it is so easy and I am so in love with my silhouette cameo. I've had it for just about a year. I got it on Christmas last year and I seriously love it so much. If you have any free printable websites that you love, definitely comment down below and share them with me and everyone else because I'm always looking for good websites. But Planner Problem 101, I love it. It's the bomb.com in my opinion. And I, like I said, if you don't wanna do all of this work that I did, like cutting and pasting and cropping stuff out, you don't have to, but I like to do this. That way I'm not printing a bunch of stickers, wasting sticker paper, and I'm only printing and cutting what I want and what I need for my planning style. If you have any other silhouette um, tutorial requests for me, definitely comment down below. Let me know what you're looking for and I'd be more than happy to oblige. I'm not an expert in silhouette, but I have been playing this with it for about a year. So I'm pretty comfortable with it. Um, if there's something that I don't know how to do, I will definitely let you guys know I, I don't know how to do that. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my, to my channel for future videos. I'm also doing an Erin Condren Vertical Life Planner giveaway. So I will have that video linked in the description box. So go check it out and enter the giveaway. It ends December 22nd. And yeah, that is all I have. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.